And we take, um, we take account of the function of uh, Steve Wheeler from the University of Plymouth that there are uh, three components of the PLEs that we could be managing information, so tools, uh, services that get you ma managing information, reading, then generating content, in the second one, about also uh, reflecting, and finally connecting with others and communicating, sharing different, different items. Then we have the concept of e-portfolios, um, we take into consideration uh, two different conceptualizations. The first one is uh, ePortfolios as one of the components of PLEs, the one about uh, creating, con creating contents and also about reflecting. And uh, in this case also we consider that it could be a bridge between the informal and formal learning environment in the sense that can be uh, taking different items from the two different uh, environments. But another conception is that e-portfolios would be uh, the, the heart, uh, uh, the DNA of the PLE. So it would be all, uh, also the connecting, sharing and reading uh, part would be integrated this, in this concept. So as I said before, uh, for teachers it's really important to have these, these key skills that also are uh, engaged by portfolios, uh, we consider that as the statement. And also reflection is really important, reflection on the practice, reflection about their own learning. And finally uh, also, if teachers have uh, a positive attitude towards the use of technology in education, it's, uh, it's more likely that would be successful this, this ICT project in schools. So it's also the, this kind of things that we would like to foster. Um, some, some other refer references about ePortfolio have uh, three processes of what uh, it's ePortfolio, creating ePortfolios. It will be documenting our own learning through reflection and also through collaboration with others. Then uh, these three steps of budget, it would be how to construct the e-portfolio. So we have uh, the artifact construction, so we, we generate different items of information. Then the evidence collection, we have the, the, the combination of all these artifacts. And then the final presentation of all this work, that is all would be the final, uh, the final process of learning in, this, in these courses. And then the other one, ref the other references, it would be the how to how you develop yourself. So in the first steps of the process of constructing the portfolio, in the artifact uh, construction and also the evidence collection, would be developed and would be a ne network self. So we are learning uh, what the other people do and also while I, we are constructing the artifacts, but we are not reflecting. Uh, really deeply on this process. So we are like a, a superficial uh, reflection. But then uh, the final presentation of the work would be when we develop our symphonic self. It would be the final uh, account, the final reflection of all this process of learning. Well, our our well, our research is about an implementation of an e-portfolio project specifically at the University of Balearic Islands in the Ibiza local branch. Um, well, this project has been carrying out since 2009-10. Uh, Each year has been improved some, some, uh, some, some things. And well, in these cases, uh, students have to construct their e-portfolios with social media, specifically with blogs, and then they use different uh, tools for creating artifacts in, in different social media, for example, SlideShare, Script, and they have to publish in, this, in these blogs. And then also we, we have to create a net of e-portfolios, it would be a, a collection of different group uh, of e-portfolios for students in order to foster collaboration between them. They can go and share and, and look what they are doing, the others, and these kind of things. Well, we have three main aims for this study. 
would be that they can uh, document their learning and also see how the identity of, of, as a teacher uh, has been evolved, no? uh, well, and empower their PLEs using social media, Web 2.0 tools, and also that they adapt the technology in order to transfer when they work in at the schools. And well, the process that we do in this experience is first students have to weekly uh, construct an, an artifact in their e-portfolios. Then they get an assessment, a weekly assessment with our rubric in the institutional virtual learning environment. And, and then well, they have to present all this information in, in, a, in a site. And these e-portfolios are public so everyone can access and, and look what the, the others are doing. This is an example of a netfolio. Uh, following the idea of, of Barbara, it's one of the persons who works that. And well, in this in this uh, environment, it's based on the NetVibes tool. You have uh, some different e-portfolios of students, and well, any student can go and and, and see what are they, what their the, the classmates are doing in there, and also uh, give feedback to them. Our sample it's, is from four groups. We have um, two groups for undergraduate <coughs> students for, for the early childhood teacher training program, and then two other groups that are um, graduate students who are, teach, uh, who are um, studying to become secondary education uh, teachers. It's not a, a big, a big uh, sample, so only 60 participants from Ibiza. And we have 46 female and, and 14 male. Uh, these were our research questions for this study. So we wanted to, to know what was the attitude for students towards technology in education, uh, technology for their future teaching careers, for the le learning experience in itself, uh, the, this whole about creating the portfolios. And then about the specific e-portfolios uh, construction process would be reflection, collaborating with others, this kind of, of things. For, about, for measure that, we, we used a survey based on, on a Likert scale, had uh, 17 items. It was uh, previously created by Lean in 2008, and it has this uh, purpose specifically to measure the, the students' attitude towards technology in education and any e portfolios. Some of the results we have here uh, two items related to technical learning, uh, where different statements uh, stated in positive or negative in order to to verify contradictions uh, on the on the students' answers. So in the first one, well, we can see well the four and six is the agree and completely agree, totally agree, and the one and two will be uh, totally disagree and disagree well, well like the like Likert scales. So uh, we can observe a positive um, a positive evaluation of the students in this case. They have gained greater confidence in using technology in learning settings and well. I did not learn any additional technology skills would be less valuable in order to, to, to verify this statement. So then about technology in the future teaching is also, it's, it's also the more, more or less the same. They, they, are, they agree with this statement, they have greater, greater confidence in using technology when they work in, at the schools. Well, the moment they are not working, so it's like an um, expect, expect, expectatives, and well, and they did not become less confident. Then we have some differences in the items about the portfolio processes. As I said before, it was reflection and collaboration. Um, well, in this case, it's also more or less positive, but the percentage about either well, either agree or disagree has increased. So they are not really sure about if they have revisited their prior experience and also if they have 
understood the importance of being self-organized. Um, similar is the, the, the result about collaborating with others. So, in, in conclusion, it, um, there were positive uh, attitudes um, towards technology in education and e-portfolios. Most of the items get uh, general satisfaction from the students, but uh, there was an important presence of the, of the answer, either, either agree or disagree, specifically in the, in the items related to collaboration and possibilities for self-organize. So, regarding our initial research questions, yes, uh, we can confirm that uh, students have positive attitudes toward these kind of experiences of documenting their own learning and also using technology in education, but um, there were less positive attitudes related to the, this process that, that are more difficult than using only technology. Reflecting, collaborating requires more than using technology. So. Um, maybe they are not really sure how to do that. So this also confirms uh, previous research about the positive attitude towards documented learning, reflection, and also if they have used technology before, they also have more positive attitude, but uh, it's always the same. The answers about collaboration and reflecting, maybe they are not uh, so positive and also um, go deeper into the development of student teachers' attitude and their performance in these, in these settings. So, thank you for your attention.